Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Kidnap. The latest, and I mean very latest, from developer Chillizart. And I, I am just beyond belief with how prolific they've been this year. This is, I want to say, the third game they've released since, like, June. And I have no idea what this one's going to be about. As usual, they don't actually give a description of the plot in their store page. But this is one of their creepiest menus yet, or at least the most atmospheric. I mean, listen to the sounds of that thunderstorm along this dark road in presumably a rural area. A perfect place to get snatched up while waiting for the bus, huh? Now, of course, this being a Chillizart game, I've got to give my usual speech on why I've come to appreciate them so much. You see, these games, the reason they're so prolific is because they're all these little short, self-contained stories. And because they're so short, and because they're so inexpensive, not only are they able to exercise a lot more freedom in the subject matter that they explore and the way they go about telling their stories, but also there's much less pressure on them to sell the games to you. Meaning, in situations like this, I'm able to come in not having any idea what the experience is going to be like. So when I come into this, I have no idea if it's going to be a more paranormal or folklore-based threat, or if it's going to be something more mundane. And so in these games, you're sort of inherently, based on their format, constantly guessing as to where the threat will come from. And not only that, these games have sort of come to develop a unique charm all their own. There's the really bizarre dialogue that is probably partway between things being lost in translation and all the NPCs just being incredibly rude. And the sort of weird logic when it comes to puzzles and the way the story is told itself, which I believe comes down to lack of knowledge of like Japanese myths and legends. And so coming in as an American who's not familiar with that stuff, it's like I'm getting something new every time. Well, let's give it a shot. Huh. What was that? Oh, it's throwing us right in. A dark and stormy night. Boards on the windows. Are we already... It's like someone calling out. Are we already a prisoner here? Oh, there's a hammer on the ground now. Oh, we, did we barricade ourselves in? Uh. Hey, Sarau. Are you listening? Answer me. Oh, wow, this is actually, like, voice acted. Sarau? What do you think you're doing sitting in the corner? Hey, say something. What are you going to do? Oh my god! July 3rd. Okay, color me curious from the opening seconds alone. Uh, Renya. Elementary school boy. Oh, we're playing as like an actual child. Oh no. I did it again. I need to go tell her. Was that a dream that I had? Oh look, we're so short, the perspective from down lower. Uh, thus making us that much more vulnerable. This is starting to remind me a little bit in tone of a game I played a while back called uh, Nine Child Street. A second st second story bedroom, meaning we're not going to be able to just run for it out the window. Hello? Uh, why is there stuff pushed against the door? Hey, Mom? Uh, about the open class today. Shut up. Don't talk to me. Oh, I see. Uh, fear of mother, and she manifests in the dream that way. 
So annoying. If only you guys weren't here. I should not have given birth to you. Jeez, lady. I mean, this game has some rude NPCs, but we're taking it to a whole new level. This is straight up abusive. Seems our sister is probably not much older. You packing your bags? You get in there. Let's go see if she's okay. Sis, I wet the bed. Oh, again? Bring your bed sheets. Okay. Well, at least she's nice. Hmm. I, I wonder if that might have played out differently if I had gone to see her. I mean, it's clear sister's doing all the actual parenting here. And there's sort of the ambiguous wording of, I, I need to go tell her, and allowing us to make the decision only afterwards. And so it sort of allows us to choose, like, what our relationship with these characters is and who we trust. I brought it. Alright, then let's go downstairs together. I'll teach you how to do the laundry. Oh, okay. At least there's something good for us in this house. Oh, and she actually follows us. Uh, down here? No. Can you show me where the laundry is in our own house? Ooh, a cat tree. Do we have a- is there a kitty somewhere? I want to see the kitty. Hmm, it's a pretty nice house. Oh, we've got some fish over here. Hi, fishies. This is all just me looking at or looking for pets so far. Yeah, this is actually really, really spacious. Ah, here it is. <laughs> chill as wash. Or chill as swash. Hello? Put the sheets in the laundry machine. Turn on the power once you put it in. You turn it on with that on button. Next, you need to press the start button. That's all. Easy enough, right? Oh, we're not going to drop like a Tide Pod in or something? Ask me again if you forget. Oh, she's so patient too. There we go. And power on. And start. Did you get how to do it? Yeah, I think so, considering you just watched me. Uh, Mom leaves without a word. From now on, you're responsible for the laundry, okay? Huh? What about Mom? Is she just leaving us? September 1st. Renya! Renya! Oh, sis is calling for me. So I'm Renya. Does she have a name? Is she in the kitchen? Uh, I'm worried. I'm really hoping this doesn't go in like a skinamarinky direction. Uh, maybe... Yeah, maybe we really were abandoned. Look, the trash is piling up. Maybe I should have a look around. Uh, I'm not seeing anything I can interact with. The kitchen. Yeah, it's just all piling up all over. Look at the state of this place. The dishes all undone. What is it, sis? Food is almost ready. So can you go hang the laundry? Okay. Oh, and we've got our little thing here so we can climb up. Okay, so we've got that. Oh, I see. We just hang them up. Dinner's ready. Come over soon. I'm coming. 
Is that what's happened here? Like, have we actually just been left to fend for ourselves? I mean, I feel like she would be at least old enough to go tell someone. It's been a while, so I tried making curry. How is it? Uh, yay, curry rice. It took a lot of time preparing everything. Be thankful. You better not spill anything on those exam sheets. Exam sheets? Oh, somebody's top of the class. Whoa, you got a hundred on everything. You're amazing, sis. Mm, these moments of silence are a little creepy. Right? I'm gonna show mom. It's been perpetually stormy ever since this started. It's weird, it's our house, but it feels so, like, trapped, like it's its own little bubble world. Is mom gonna come home? Of course she's coming back. I'm sure she's gonna be amazed when she sees these. Oh, that is so sad. I mean, not only for the obvious abandonment, but I wonder if you didn't, like, push yourself harder in order to impress her in some way to, like, get her to come back. I'm okay with just the two of us. What are you talking about? You need your mother. Sis, you really love mom, don't you? Isn't it normal? We're all kids. Everyone loves their mother. But I'm here too, sis. September 5th. It's been over a month. I wonder if the clothes have dried. Let's put away the dried clothes. Uh, even as a child, it's settling us into a work routine. Just chores, but mechanically it serves the same function. And what is the deal with this one room that we can't access? Sister not in her room. Oh, but there is the chilla! No change in mom's room. Seems to be done. Okay, now put dried clothes in the drawer. Uh, from the look of them, these should all be mine, right? Hmm. She... Oh, she hasn't called for me today. I wonder if dinner is ready. Oh, no. This couldn't end up getting worse, could it? If she left me, I'm just like an eight or nine year old all alone. And this place has gotten truly filthy. She's not cooking today. Where'd she go? Uh, that panic. He, this kid must feel like his whole world is just shrinking around him. Even worse, that everyone he cares about is just leaving him. Uh, I, I've already been to her room. She wasn't there. I don't see my sister. This is just, I'm not even creeped out. This is just making me sad. Then again, this would be a room for a peekaboo jump scare. Not here either. You're actually making us search the whole house. 
No. Did she go outside? Does this open? No. Her shoes aren't here, so she did leave. I wonder where she's gone to at this time of day. It's raining pretty hard. Why at a time like this? I need to find her. Shift to run. Press E to call out. No! Which way should we go? Oh, there's like a drainage ditch over here and no flashlight or anything. Let's start walking over here. Maybe to the house next door? We can't knock on the door or anything. I'm just horrified imagining like kids in this situation. Like I feel so bad. It's not even letting us get close to any of these properties. I keep thinking I hear something out here. This is no place for you. I'm trying to stay to the shoulder as much as possible. Because I figure no car is going to be driving, like, this close to where the poles are. Let's get a move on. Oh, it's so dark out. And we're not even... We're not even underneath the streetlights anymore. Sis, where are you? September 8th, three days later. It's time to clean up, everyone. Please start your assigned cleanup duties. Ah, oh, so we have still been going to school and whatnot. I guess some of us work harder than others. But then again, kids got moves. I mean, it looks like a really creepy wooden marionette, but moves nonetheless. Huh. Never mind. You you ignore your schoolwork. We've got a new Michael Jackson on our hands. What are you doing? Eh, to be honest, I can appreciate the pretending to work. Look at these little hats. Why does everything in Japan have to be so adorable? You know, except for the child abandonment. Alright, well, we've got our broom. Yep, this is just like sweeping the floors in the gym in uh, the karaoke. That actually seems, to be honest, this seems like a really nice thing. Having the kids clean up, put on music, and be left to their own devices to do it as a group. That actually seems like something that's kind of missing from American schools if this is a real thing. Like, just having kids accomplish something, do a routine, together. Yep. That should be about it for this room. Oh, I guess I missed... Oh, right here. There we are. Alright, all done. But I just don't bring this up to anyone. Attention, everyone. Please be quiet. We will begin our end of day meeting. Everyone listening? Please do not follow strangers on the way home. Imagine the knot that must be in this kid's stomach thinking about what happened to his sister. Be wary of suspicious adults. Now, it wouldn't be a meeting, but when I was in school, they would send home a letter whenever there was someone suspicious, you know? Somebody who was, like, driving around, talking to kids. I wonder if they haven't gotten similar reports. Hey, y'all, listen up. Uh, we got a troublemaker. There's a clown out there, so watch out for that, too. Everybody quiet down. Alright, let's say our greetings. Everyone stand up. 
Goodbye, and please get home safely. Sayonara. Goodbye. Hmm. We were talking about walking home together. Where'd the three of them go? Ah, and we have to find Kaiji, Koame, and Masahiro. I'm sorry, I just really, really enjoy this music. It, it is so cute. Can I maybe talk to the teacher about what's going on? Oh wait, what is this? Card pack. Oh, it's like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh, I bet this is the supporter content. All right, we found some. I've noticed your sister hasn't come to school at all. Uh, yeah, and apparently half of the connection of your jaw hasn't arrived either, so two things are missing. Is everything okay? I have no idea, or she's not feeling so well. Why are we keeping this such a secret? I don't... I have no idea. Is that so? Well, I'm here to listen if there's anything wrong, okay? It's weird. The NPCs in this game are so much nicer than I'm used to, but the one that matters has just ruined everything for all of us. Mitsuki. My mom and sister make dinner together for us. And it's always delicious. I wonder what today's dinner is. Well, it looks like last night it was your hands. Maybe some humbagu steak? <laughs> humbagu steak? I sure hope so. This game is making me nostalgic for a time in my life that didn't happen and the real version I hated. Asaka says, I lent my umbrella to Masahiro. I haven't gotten it back. Oh shucks. Well, if I, if I see them, I'll ask for it. What are you doing? Oh, that's Kome. Huh, that's odd. Where'd it go? What's wrong? I, I could have said we're gonna leave you. I'm looking for my eraser. Yomasa might know something about it. Okay, I'll go ask. Thank you. Uh, now she gay? I heard that the clown targets people when they're alone. I see. Have you seen the clown? I sometimes feel his presence. You should be careful too, Renya. Ah, oh, so this game takes place in 2016. Narumi asks, when should we leave? I'm ready when you are. Are you coming over today? Maybe. You're always like that, Yuka. You say maybe to everything. Don't make me decide on everything. Sorry. Are you coming or not? I'll go. Okay. Next time, maybe won't cut it. What is it, Renya? You're not invited to our girls meet. Okay, be that way. I got my own friends to hang out with. Okay, what is wrong with- why do you look AI generated? Why are all of your jaws stretching down into the left? If I look this way, will it- oh wow. <laughs> so it's like twisting your head. You don't actually turn to look at me. What's up with the clown Kiyomichi was talking about earlier? Apparently he shows up on the way home. Like a suspicious person? I guess, but... I heard he doesn't really do anything. Well, that's something to look out for. Oh wow, it's a whole school. Ah, here's Yomasa, or Yoshimasa. Are you looking for a Komei's eraser? Mm-hmm. I remember seeing you lending it to Kiyomichi, who sits next to Komei during class. Kiyomichi never returns. The things he borrows. So maybe he left it in his desk. Okay, I'm glad we don't have to go on a person hunt. 
This was starting to feel like Mountain Blade or something. Uh, let's have a look, see. There we are. All right. Here you go, Kome. My eraser. You found it. Thanks. All right, then. I'll be waiting by the entrance. Now, not in English, but this game does appear to be, like, fully voice acted. That's really, really neat. Now, not to mention, it is just... I mean, I say this for every game, but it, it's true every time. It, it seems to be, like, bigger in scale, more detailed, and on top of that all, running better. You know about the clown rumor? What do you know about it? A guy who shuts up when it's inconvenient for him. He's not a real man. That's what my mom said. I mean, it's okay to say you don't know things. I just have to talk to each of these people and find out which of them is my friend. Maybe I have face blindness. No? Masahiro. Hey, go give this umbrella back to Asaka. Okay. Uh, I'm making all kinds of friends today. Or I'm just proving useful to them. But hey, it's preparing me for the unbearable work life of Japanese culture, right? Uh, here's your umbrella. I got your umbrella back. From Masahiro? I can't believe it. Who would make someone else return something they borrowed? I don't even get a thank you? Can you rip one into him? Uh, sure. Uh, I can't... Well, this isn't the gameplay I was expecting, to be honest, but... I'm weirdly digging it, you know? Like, I feel like I'm really immersing myself into this world. This is a kid who has friends, who has a life. But as I'm coming here, nobody knows the horror that's going on at home. And as a kid, I just don't have the frame of reference or the words to tell them. Did you give the umbrella back to Asaka? Yep. All right, let's head out. I'll be by the entrance. Now we just have to find Kaiji and whatever his crap's gonna be for the day. Uh, can we go upstairs? We cannot. Ew, stinks. Run away. Uh, were you running out of the bathroom? Uh... Oh my, you guys look creepy. You all look like you just discovered some horrible truth in an anime. Or you're delivering one. Oh, there's, there's another pack of cards over here, it looks like. <laughs> and a little chiller right on the end there. I wonder how many of these things there are. Uh, you weren't here before, were you? Kiyomichi calls me weird. Am I weird? You're not weird. I appreciate that. Let's head home once Kome and Masahiro are ready. This game gives us the opportunity to be really rude, and we didn't have to help all these kids. So I'm wondering if maybe that doesn't make, like, a difference? Or I suppose we did, because bringing back the, uh, bring back the umbrella led to our other friend, but still. Uh, we gotta put our shoes on first. There we are. Alright, everyone's here. Let's go home. Asaka was mad at you. Asaka? Did you do something, Masahiro? I didn't do anything. Then why is she angry? Stop asking stupid questions, Kaiji. It's not unnecessary. She's not going to get angry without a reason. Because I returned the umbrella to Asaka. Of course she's angry. It's Asaka we're talking about. Yeah, but... You should apologize to Asaka tomorrow. That's for the best. I guess so. Uh, 
it's a dreary, windy afternoon. Well, I suppose we're all going to be walking home together. Uh, but which way do we go? Oh no, you made me, you've gone from making me worried about two kids to being worried about five kids in very short order. Okay, well, do we just walk along this way then? No, we can't go that way. No ability to sprint either. Oh, listen to that music. I mean, from the bright and cheerful atmosphere of the school, we've gone into something that's so weirdly nostalgic and yet so melancholy. It's the kind of day where you just feel like something bad's gonna happen. And because we've gotten this glimpse into their lives, I don't know, that's just really... It's not just the horror of what creepy thing is gonna happen, it's... I, I legitimately feel, like, protective of these kids. I'm almost hoping that we can safely drop them off one by one, just so that I can not have to, like, expend the mental energy on worrying about them. Kaiji, why are you wearing your indoor school shoes? Oh yeah, you're not wearing your outside shoes. Well, it's a hassle switching to my regular shoes. Is that so? You're really strange, Kaiji. Weird guy. Yeah, so funny. I don't hate it, my guy. <laughs> Can I talk to you outside of this? Maybe you need reassurance that you're not a weirdo. You guys can walk on those platforms. Why can't I? Everything is just so gray. Careful at that intersection. seemed weirdly like a POV shot. Hello? Who is that? Uh, the bright colors had me scared for just a second. But it's just an old lady. Let's play hide and seek here. Oh no, 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 no. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, let's all play. Not going outside the park today? Okay, let's play rock, paper, scissors to decide who's it. Alright, ready? Uh, let's do scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And I have lost thoroughly. What? I'm the only loser? Oh well, I'm it then. Alright, I'm going to count. 20, 19, 18, 1. Zero. Are you ready? Not yet! Are you ready? <laughs> We're ready. Ready or not, here I come. Hey there, bud. Uh, hide and seek is like the worst game to play when there's somebody out there. It's basically the child equivalent of let's split up and look for clues. Let me just look at more of that, uh, look at more of that supporter content. I don't think I found any in Parasocial. Oh, this tall grass, it makes it... Oh, I spotted you! That was a good spot! Which one were you? I found you, Masahiro! Nah. Oh, dang, you found me! Uh, what? I'm not last! It was tough to get up this tree. Yeah, I found you by pure chance. You honestly deserved it. Okay, but you're gonna walk around with us? I feel a little bit better now. Uh, but those are some thick forests. Bamboo trees off to the side, or I guess you just call it bamboo. 
Ah, your hat gives you away. Uh, trying to pull a Metal Gear Solid down there, are you? I found you, Kaiji. I'm a grass. I'm not Kaiji. Huh? Sorry, sorry. Next time I'll blend in even better. Become one with the nature. <laughs> I changed my mind. You are a weirdo, but I really like you in that way. And you, oh, the least effort of all gets found last. That is so not. Excuse me, sir. You got a problem? No, we can't talk to you? All right then, good day. <laughs> I got my two little yes men who just turn in unison and walk off in stride. Let's surround, let's surround her. Boo. I found you, Koame. Ugh. Aw, oh, shucks. I'm out. I thought this was a good spot. Well, apparently it was, because it was the farthest away, so just by process of elimination, you win. I'm the last one out? Yay! Let's do it one more time. Hey, hey, let me join you. Huh? What's up with this guy? Hey, hey, you guys. Can I join you all? Uh, what should we do, Renya? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Hey, don't say that. What should we do, Renya? I don't think... He, he sure is persistent. Oh, my. You're really gonna make us. All right, sure, Mister. Uh, you you hide, and we'll all seek out the nearest police box. Oh well, then, old man, you're it. Okay. You're an adult, so you can count inside the container. Start counting. All right. Uh, we really should ditch at this point. <laughs> Did you actually just lock him in? Because if so, Doritos play the game. Now's the chance. Let's get... Yes! Okay, good. Good kids. Good kids. Oh, it's so smart. Uh, all right, now let's get out of here. Uh, is that okay? We don't want to stick around with a creepy old man like that. Well, I mean, you should maybe at least tell somebody he's in there. Like, you don't want him to, like, die. Come on. Let's run. Hurry. All right. Uh, but I have to... Wait, but my bag. Where did I leave my bag? Oh, they're over here. Okay, got it. He's going to bear a grudge, isn't he? I mean, that was... Nope, he's out. That was quick thinking and very smart, but... I really hope we are in the clear. I think we're clear. I think we lost that old man. Was that okay? Oh, my character has some reservations about that. What? Then why don't you go? And talk to that guy alone? Why would I? Then let's head home. Yeah, let's uh, keep moving. We know he's already out, so let's... What should we do if there's a suspicious person? Would that dude from earlier count as suspicious? Even if it's not him. What if... What does a suspicious person even do? Kidnap? What do they do after kidnapping you? Probably ask for money. Oh, money. My family's rich, so I gotta watch out then. My house doesn't have much money, so we should be safe. I find that conversation so hauntingly realistic. I mean, kids are taught so much about stranger danger, but... I I've never seen something put it this way before. They really don't understand what it is... These people do. They're just kind of generic bad guys in their mind. 
Hey, Renya needs to stop by the shop. I didn't say that. Hey now, come here real quick. Hey, Renya, go steal something. I'd rather not. What are you, a chicken? No, I'm not. Then go grab something. Oh, they've... Hmm. That adds another layer to this. I'm running out of food at home. And my sister is not there to cook for me anymore? I guess I gotta. Okay. Uh, can I get inside this shop? Oh, another card pack here. Uh, I should probably be selling these. They're probably worth a fortune among these kids. This game, honestly, so far, it's up there with the high bar that Parasocial set. Let's try to grab some stuff without getting spotted by Granny here. Oh uh, yeah, we saw you on the road before. I guess after that whole day, uh, you finally made it here. Oh god, that is horrifying. Uh, you'll probably spot me if I grab that, right? Gotta hold that to steal. And you can feel your tension. Uh, it's clicking when I use the scroll wheel like I have an in inventory, but it's not letting me put it away. Um, let's save the chips for now. Oh, you're gonna wander about the store. Oh, what is this, the Outlast Trials? Oh, you're actually following me around. I think Granny suspects something. Okay, let's... Oh, nope, you're going about your own way. You're the guy. I'ma just, uh... scooch on past and grab this card pack, if you don't mind. Uh, maybe if I put them all together, I can summon, like, a Megazord or something and defeat you. Mister, you're not gonna tell if I do this, right? Oh my god. Weirdly enough, Granny, you're not the scariest thing here. Oh, this is horrifying. I mean, we've shown that my character has, like, trouble expressing himself and standing up for himself. So... Here we are. Our solution is right here. All we'd have to do is say... Hey, I don't trust this guy. But we just can't. I mean, we probably feel like we'll get in trouble. I knew you had it in you. We'll keep this between us. Hey, we saw the guy entering the store. Are you okay? I'm fine. Glad to hear. All right, let's skedaddle. I am so glad that the translation allowed for that. Yeah, let us skedaddle indeed and maybe keep a close watch behind us. Really keep a close watch behind us now. I hope I'm not going to be expected to share. This is my house. You seem kind of depressed recently, don't you? Let me know if I can help with anything. We're best friends, right? See ya. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. This is my stop. Later. Yep, see you later. See you tomorrow. Um... I'm partway relieved, but also... The party is dwindling. Not this way. Not this way. Sorry, just trying to remember the way to my own house. Come on. Speaking of kidnapping... Do kidnappings happen in rural places like this? I don't think so. Right? Huh, I'm so relieved. 
someone finally agrees with me. But I hope someone weird shows up. It'll definitely make things more fun. That's not fun at all! Have you heard about the clown sightings? Everyone's talking about it. Scary stuff. Hey, I've seen a clown. What? Please tell me you're lying. Hmm. No comment. Did we see a clown? Like, did I actually miss a clown somewhere? But that's the thing, it puts you into that childhood mindset of you are looking for some brightly colored baddie. Little do I realize that they look like everyone else. If anything, he's probably the least horrifying NPC we've encountered. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to keep an eye out. You know, this looks like the way that I ran the other night. I can't even confide in my one friend that we've been living home alone? That my sister disappeared? That my mother left me? This game just feels so much more real than the others. In a way that is honestly, like, really bumming me out. Hey, uh, about your sister. Yeah, and about your neck. I haven't seen her recently. What happened? I don't know. She suddenly disappeared. Huh? Is she okay? I think so. My mom apparently works at a child guidance center. She, take ca she takes care of some elementary school kids like us. If you need anything, just come over to my house. Alright. But recently, mom seems very busy. I haven't been able to talk to her that much either. Well then, I'm heading home. Bye bye. Oh, you seem so sweet. And I guess the apple didn't fall far from the tree, if that's what your mom does. <sighs> but we can't knock on your door. to wash my hands first. I feel like in this situation I would be checking every day to see if sister is back. Oh look, you've even got a little chilla under the chair. And one on the bed. I mean, I don't blame you, they're adorable. But I, I don't know, it's just like... Let's wash our hands. I think I saw my own teeth for a second. I should put the snacks on the table. This place just seems so quiet and dead. And when this game started off, like, you know, the lights were on, there were people walking around. It was clear it wasn't the best environment. It almost seemed like it maybe 
could have gotten better after Mother left. Now, we're just left to- Oh, there's the kitty, there's the kitty! Hi, kitty, I hope somebody's feeding you. Tama, aw, Tama. Oh, we can pet you, aw. Hi, Tama, can we crouch down? Tama, oh look, you got a little red collar. You got your tail going like that, aw. Would you like ramen? Oh, unfortunately, I don't think I have any kitty food here. I hope we have something for you. Let's put that down. And you, come on. Oh, I have to select it. And you. Now let's go change. I do wonder where these other doors lead, the ones we can't open. Are they maybe just like closets? Well, back to our room. Done. And now I guess it's time for homework. But we have the ability to look around all the while. Let's uh, begin. Uh, oh, R is... Hmm. So... One... I guess... Okay, we can switch to an eraser. Two... Three... And... Four? And then this one goes... Yeah. Did I do it? Okay. Uh, maybe... Uh, you know what this is reminding me of? This is reminding me of the uh, Spells minigame from uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone on PC. There we are. Oh, I see. We're drawing characters. Uh, I have no idea how this is, like, viable in everyday life. Yep. And then you... Oh, I made a mistake. Don't worry, all mistakes are fixable in the wonderful land of Japan. Except getting abducted and murdered. There we are. And there we go. Eh, we can do a little better than that, I think. We can do a little better than this, too. Yep. Eh. I'm, I'm becoming such a perfectionist about this. And yep. Eh, good enough. And... Why is that there? Is that what that means? Like, is that what this... Is that what this character represents? Death? Okay. I do wonder if it, if it isn't maybe, like, grading my survival, my ending off of this. I'm not sure if this is going to have multiple endings. Not every Chilla's Art game has them. But I think that would be kind of funny. I mean, we've been a pretty good kid so far, except giving into the peer pressure to steal, but even that has a pretty good reasoning behind it. I mean, I can't really blame him at all. Huh. There's like a weird thing happening where, like, it just gets the corner down there. There's a one, two, three, and four. One, two. This is oddly relaxing. Not at all like real homework. Three, four, five. I wonder if the game isn't actually keeping track of this. Like, would there be any consequence to just not doing my homework? Because, to be honest, it kind of seems like the least of my problems. Actually, it kind of seems like it's meant to distract me with a child's work. While perhaps somebody creeps in through the front door that I forgot to lock. And that is what I will be telling the teacher tomorrow, to explain why I didn't do this. Okay. 
Okay, there's our writing homework just about done. But I thought I caught a glimpse of, yes, math. Math on the next page. Uh, 4 times 5 is 20. 9 times 7, mm, that's harder. Thousand. I'm spending. I'm spending like a really long time on this for something that I'm sure isn't gonna matter. Eleven times eleven. One twenty-one. I didn't just get my phone out to make this go faster. And then, okay, they're gonna like order of operations us here. Fifteen. Okay. And oh, I guess that's probably the end then, right? Okay, well, since I'm like 100% sure it's not going to matter, that's obviously going to be a... There we go. And I guess that's done for now, right? Oh my god! Oh. That's not a prank! That's not a prank! That's not a prank! That's not a prank! Can we get under the bed? Can we hide? Can we do something? Oh my god, that took me a second to, like, register! Well, did he spare me because I indulged in the spirit of good humor? Oh my god, you're really inviting me to sit back down. Oh my god, that stopped my heart dead for like five full beats. Ah. Uh, Tama. Tama, did you see anything? Yeah. Nobody around. All the doors have shut. We still can't access that one mysterious inaccessible room. And it's broad daylight. The way everything's totally silent. We're so distracted. And then it just happens. Like, it hasn't even built anything up like that. It's just... Uh... I'm starving. Well, let's have something to eat. Uh, the ramen would probably be better than the chips or the cola. How can I eat this? Oh, I've got to put it over here. Uh, the cup of ramen really hits the spot. I'm afraid to turn around in my own house now. So now on top of everything, on top of losing every source of comfort I had, now I can't even feel safe here? Have we checked the closet? My god. <laughs> Well, we know that it does open from this side, and we can hide here. Let's keep that in mind. We can't go through here anymore. Just checking if those doors open. That one's still piled up. I should feed the fish. When was the last time I fed them? Uh, I suppose we could always crush up these chips. They'll probably eat that, right? Oh, we've still got some food left. There you are. Oh, we're out of fish food. I guess it's time to play some video games. That's not the correct response to that realization, but okay. We're not going to feed the cat either. Let's play some games, I guess. Stage one game. Oh, wow, we're actually playing. Ooh. And graphically, this is actually pretty pleasing. You can press E to interact. Oh, there's all kinds of ghost girls moving around in the graveyard. Have we got to get past them? Oh, they're coming towards me! No, 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 run, 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 run. So they're not just on a scripted path. They will actually chase me down. All right, well, we can juke. Have a look over here. No, we can't seem to enter that cave. Maybe that's our ultimate goal. Oh, when you come from below, 
You come from below. There's very little I can do about you. There's no sprint. Let's grab this. Uh, we've got those, whatever those do. Uh, she's coming for us. Nope. Go around. Not fast, but they are dangerous. So what do we use this for? Let's go through the woods. That'll be our best way out. Maybe we can use it with those rocks. Mean having to go through them again. Now, between this and Parasocial, they're really having a lot of fun making games within games, aren't they? This is like the third game since June, like the fourth or fifth game this year, and they've still got another one listed. Unbelievable productivity. No, what do I do? What does it want me to do? Maybe I have to. Ugh. Oh, I've got to place them on the graves. Two, three, and four. And they just go right back into my inventory? Oh, do I maybe have to do it in like a certain order or something? Hmm. I wouldn't know where to start. One, two... Three. Oh, I see the candles. All right. Well, I just kind of did it by accident. Uh, there we go. Now we've got that mallet. A rock smashing mallet for smashing rocks out of the way so we can get into caves. That's how the professionals do it. Oh, stay away from me. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. I don't even have the comfort of viewers uh, commenting as I stream. There we go. Stage one clear. Click here, I did, on a gamepad. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. A visitor? A visitor? Oh my god! Not a prank, not a prank, not a prank. He's terrorizing me specifically. What is that, and how did it get here? I've got your sister. If you don't want to lose her, break all the balloons, loser. Oh my god! What is happening here? Uh, uh, hold left click to grab, right click to throw. Uh, so I've got to throw this, and that will pop them? Is there a time limit? Can I... What happens if I throw it at your stupid clown face? Okay. I was talking about how this game was so much more gra so much more real than any of the previous entries. But now... I'm just not... You can't... This isn't a regular... This isn't a regular home invasion abduction thing going on. There's something much stranger. Okay, that should be all of them. If I miss something? Perhaps something behind the counter? Yes. There we are. Oh, we can. Oh my god. Wait, two minutes! Two minutes! All right, get them all, get them all, get them all. We got a chain react. We can't rely on popping them all ourselves. No, go, 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 go. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Get them all, get them all, get them all, get them all, get them all. Get them. Pop what's left. No, oh, there's so many. There was still one here. We're never going to be able to make it in time. Not in this whole house. Pop. Go, 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 go. Stressful, stressful, stressful. Do it for sis, do it for sis, do it for sis. She's so good to us. We gotta utilize return ball more. No, no, come on. Oh, we're losing so much time. There's there's no way. There's no way. Oh, some of them are falling downstairs. It's not even possible. The whole house is just packed with them. Come on. Oh, so many more are falling. We can we can also just use it to like wand over, but it's not as reliable in popping them. Some of you are floating. 
insert it reference here. Oh, look how many have fallen. They've gotten so far. 40 seconds, 40 seconds, 40 seconds. A clown room. Cool. So that's a thing. There's simply no way. It's not going to happen. Put a child in this situation. This desperation. You can't... It's literally... Uh, it's gone. Come on. We're screwed. We're screwed. The door just closed on its own. Now what? door just unlocked. We can still get the ball back. No chance I would have been able to do all this in two minutes. None. Well, they're still here and I'm still doing it, so how about this? How about we pop them all? All you told me was pop all the balloons. You never told me that it had to be within a certain amount of time. Please... Please let me wake up and find out this was all a nightmare. Or at least have that other guy come stalk me home and have you two distract each other duking it out. Oh my god! Stop that, you. Uh, you're giving me all the more reason to throw this thing into you. Maybe, maybe it's a gag balloon and one of these times, just one of these times, it'll explode. Okay. Pretty sure that's all of them. Nope. A couple of them flew out. Pretty sure that's all of them. I'll do another once over just to be sure. One more. Ah, this one right here. Yeah, we have well exceeded our two minutes. In fact, we probably doubled it by now. Oh, wait. There's one right over there. Boom. There we go. I got the achievement. Pop them all. Pop all balloons. I played your game, comedian. Oh, the music emanates from that room, the one we couldn't access before. That's got to be significant, the fact that we couldn't enter this room prior to now. <gasps> He's got her right here. What's happening? Oh no. Tama? <coughs> it was a dream. Tama, where'd you get off to? Oh, that door's still closed. I kind of figured, but... Tama, are you there? Did I leave all these doors open? I sure didn't leave that one open. Uh, there's a trail of dirt leading back in. I can't even close it? It's getting later, the storm is increasing. Tama? I'm 100% certain that you walked in here in the last two seconds, opened that door, and closed it again. You're really not going to let me have a look over there. It doesn't look like those boxes are still there. Something's stuck. Don't like it. Don't like it. Tama? That's what I figured. I found you. That was really convenient for you that the cat did that. Oh no, he's taking us away from the house.
You do have... Sis? Where am I? Looks like I'm not tied down. Is there a way out of this room? It's the one from my last dream. Before, my mother came as some kind of demon, but here... Uh, that's actually been a persistent theme in this. It's... It's taking, like, paranormal, supernatural, otherworldly ways of viewing the real dangers that surround us. That's actually so thematically relevant that this clown came to us and had our sister in a cage. Well, it really was something like that, just not the way we would think. That's all blood. Uh, we have the ability to pick up that ball and throw it. Maybe we should keep that in mind. And we can pick up the hammer. Uh, there's a closet right here. Can we potentially hide in it? No. But we could try to start prying some of these boards off. There you go. There you go. Work quickly. There we are. Uh, but why would he leave this for us? Make our way around. Actually, let's survey the property. There are other neighboring houses, and the right thing to do right now is to just start jumping and screaming. Maybe if we can, try to make the leap to that shed. We've got to gather as much information as possible about our surroundings. Uh, there's a bike down by the gate. Clothes left to dry over here. Well, that's not him. Actually, he's nowhere to be seen. Oh, we really can't climb over this. Seems much more logical than trying to climb in through one of those windows. There's a hallway with a blood stain leading to this door, like drag marks. Another door over here. Another closet here. We're getting important previews. I imagine that door would have been locked. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh no, you're not gonna let me get back in? I have to get- I have to be the basketball champion! Oh, there's probably an achievement for that. Oh. And maybe we'll get another chance later. Sis? Sis? She can't hear me. I have to get to her room. Oh no. He's back. Okay, uh, back, back, back to our room, back to our room, back to our room. Or wait, no, 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 no. Over here would maybe be better? Yes, right here, right here, right here. Go, go, go. Let's go. Open the door, close it. She was- No! I have to head to her room, through here. Around. That's to my room. Sis! Let's get out of here. Oh, wow, they actually did the- Oh, no, she's wearing AirPods. What do you think you're doing? I'm the one who asked Mr. to kidnap me. And I had him kidnap you, too. It was all my plan to get Mom to look at us. Care for us. It's the perfect plan to get Mom to love me again. We are truly alone in this world. What do I do then? Do I try and... What's gotten into you, sis? I should get out of here before the guy finds me. What can I even do? Going downstairs doesn't seem like a good idea. Oh, oh, oh he's passed out. Well, I got your key. Where can I go? Where do I go? You've clearly done this before. 
And it's just, how do you even find this guy? Uh, should I be having a look around? Go, 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 go. Unlock the padlock on the gate. Do it, come on, come on, come on. He's right behind us. Yep! Where are you going? Your sister's going to be worried. Judging by the amount of blood in there, this guy's done this many times before. Just relax. But Mr. listens to everything I say. Don't you do anything weird. It's the only way to get mom to love me again. Okay, fine. We're... We're a kid. I, I almost can't blame this character because... They don't have the frame of reference. I mean, the sister's a little older. She is definitely just unhinged. Sis is acting strange. What should I do? Hang on, wait, is the basketball back? No, they took away the basketball. Oh, come on. Well, I'm gonna have to load a chapter later. Usually these games let you do that. Obey my sister. No. No, absolutely not. I can't rely on my sister. I need to go get help. Let's go. Should I really go? Yes. I have to get out without being spotted by Mr. or my sister. But how do I know where they are, where they'll be? Ah, oh, come on! So I've got to wait for you to pass. Just start coming and move past. Will you go back the other way? I mean, I've got to imagine you've got a patrol route, right? You don't seem to be moving. Oh, I've got to go the other way. Not this way? Ah, oh, no, she's right here. Oh. We need to distract her somehow. The remote. Turn that off from here. Turned off by itself. Sure it did. There's the remote again. Um, um. Alright, you'll go that way. I grab this. Can we go out this back door? We can't. Why not? Back this way. She came through here, but alright. With the radio, I can maybe distract Mister. It sounds like you're walking back. There's a right way to do this. There's a, there's a right way to untangle this. No! Oh, come on! I have to go through all this every time. It's just going to be trial and error. But nothing to see here. I don't know if crouching makes a difference. I'm just doing it. Uh. Uh, to be betrayed in this way. Turn off the TV. Wow, that stuff actually interacted when you stood up. You're gonna go that way. You need to grab those keys. You're gonna go over there. I need to... Requires battery! Where's a battery? Uh, this is gonna be real difficult, isn't it? You're gonna- you move in a loop after you get up. You're looking for the remote. You're over there. Not in here. I don't think you'll move from that spot. Where does one acquire batteries? I really can't open any of these other doors. There's so many better ways out of this. I hit him again. How long am I going to keep him in that room? Sarah has grown up. 
I know he's a kind boy. I'm a terrible mother. I'm so sorry, Sarau. I'm sorry that I can't control my anger. You look like him the more you grow. Someday I hope you'll understand. Was this his upbringing as well? Ah, uh, we can come over here. You're holding the battery. What was that? Climb up to the attic? Yeah. I mean, we may be sabotaging our own escape, but let's do it. Uh, it looks like there's several ways we can end this right here and now. We could obey sister. We could make our way out by activating the radio. Or... We see this. Oh my... All these bags just full of gore. That looks like a hand. Oh my god! Uh... I think we found Mother's corpse. Or at least his mother. Uh... Something, something led us up here. Was it her ghost leading us up here? Uh, who'd believe us, right? Like she wanted to be found after all this time, after everything she'd watched her son become. Okay, let's go back. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to be done up here. Or at least I don't think so. I'm get getting the feeling there's a lot of optional content! Okay, that's actually perfect timing. If you head back down the hallway the other way... Right? Now we gotta move, move, move. We're going to uh, start playing the radio. Yep. Me out, me out, me out. You're gonna start on your path. We'll wait for you to pass by. No! See, if I were smart, I would arrange for her to find the remote somewhere so she stops moving after I get the keys. Not the TV. There you go. You gotta be fast, I think. I run over. Grab the keys. Go in. Immediately do this. Turn radio on. Go. Wish I could sprint. Really wish I could sprint. Through here. Wait for you to pass by. You're past. Okay, goodbye. I don't know if you're going to be moving back and forth or not. But we can go. We've got the keys. And we're out. Nobody knows where I went. I would really like it. Oh, we're going to take the bike. Actually, that's actually much better. Oh no, you're actually... Oh no! Now I've got to pedal my way back out here in the night. Run, 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 run. Where am I even going? Wing. I'm just paranoid of every vehicle now. And he's out looking for us. And now he's got nothing to lose. Go, 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 go. Shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shift, 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 shift. I'm holding shift. Do I need to tap shift? Or do I need to hold shift? You really need to specify that. Turn left. He's also in a car. I'm a child on a bike, so that probably affects things some. Go, go, go. Go, please. Go more. Go more. Go more than you're going. Whose house should I go to? Uh... No, neither of theirs. To the left. I guess... I guess he got me? I thought it would be smart to... 
Oh no, he knocked me over. Run, 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 run. Okay, I was gonna say it would be smarter to go to my other friend's house because her her mother is the social worker. Go, 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 go. We're actually kind of funny how I'm not, I'm not even gonna dare to look back. I know he's back there. I know he's back there. There's the light on. Go, go, go. Go! I rushed into Komei's house. I didn't know where else to go. I remember her mother worked at a place where they took care of troubled kids. Komei's mother listened carefully to what I had to say. She agreed to shelter me and my sister for a few days, and even went to the mister's home to pick my sister up. I heard my sister had resisted at first, but eventually calmed down and left his house. Komei's mother also met the mister and understood that he meant no harm. However, from here on out, she firmly told us to leave him alone. She suggested we both go to foster care. We were happy to be given the choice. He meant no harm. Like, look, I understand we never saw him do anything, like, to hurt us specifically, but look, there's blood all over the house. His mother's corpse is rotting in the attic. What am I supposed to think? And how did Sister even find this guy? She needs to be psychologically evaluated as well, because good lord, she's as crazy as he is, if not more so. We went up to the attic in this playthrough. I made sure that I did that this time, so that it wasn't left behind. Did I not tell anyone about what I saw? Welcome home. How was school? You don't get to play all innocent after all that. A lot happened, huh? Yeah. But it sure is comfortable here. Come to think of it, you were always afraid of mom. I'll watch over these kids. I'm their mother. You are the arch-villain of this story. Sakuko, Renya, we're leaving. In the end, mother coming back, the thing we hoped for the most was actually the worst thing that could have happened. How did you end up like this? Where were you? Sakako, answer me. Um, uh, Mr.'s house. I asked him to kidnap us. Maybe that's something you keep to yourself. What? Kidnap you two? What was he thinking? What is wrong with him? Mom, no, he's not a bad person. Shut up. You be quiet, Sakuko. Yeah, I'm with Mom on this one. You shut up, Sakuko. You have the nerve to kidnap my children and cause me so much trouble, huh? Well, uh, this all happened because of you. I mean, you're not off the hook yet. Getting involved in other people's family affairs? These kids can live on their own. Okay. And I'll go back to my friend's house and go back to the nice little foster home. That's it. I've had enough. I'm going to the mister's house. Hey. So you're the kidnapper. Hey, turn around and face me. How dare you kidnap my child. They're my kids for God's sake. You have no authority over them. These are my children. I am their mother. I'm the only one who's allowed to do whatever I want with them. Wow, a little on the nose there, huh? Children need to just simply listen to what their parents tell them. That is what happiness is for kids. You would never understand. Hey, are you listening to me? Oh, careful, he's got mommy issues. <laughs>
Things are working out after all. <laughs> What a disturbing ending, but you know what, kid? Hard agree. Been there, hard agree. Bye. Renya's smile. That's our achievement. Uh, so that was the kidnap. That's either my first or second favorite, and I think Parasocial is going to take the first spot, if only because it's a little bit more involved. That was incredibly good incredibly good. Both of these games stand so high above all the other ones because, like I said, it felt so real. And it played around with more fantastical elements, but it had them all be from the fact that either of being a dream or of being from the perspective of a child, but knowing that we're receiving it from the perspective of an adult. And so it's able to play with our expectations from both directions simultaneously. Because from the adult perspective, we're looking at it as this horribly sad and dangerous situation that this kid is in. But then from the child's perspective, we see these more fantastical horrors. The clown that terrorizes them, the urban legends of not knowing to make what to make of these things that he's being told are out there by his friends, by school. In the end, I guess we learned to engineer things the way our sister did. Learned to realize that our mom, for all the crazy things that happened, was the source of these problems. Here's the crime scene. We'll quickly be back in foster care back in the one place where we were truly happy. I do just feel bad. In the end, I do feel bad for Mr. Though that it took his sacrifice to make all this happen. There's another of those gore bags. It just felt so real. I mean, in the beginning, I felt such real fear for this protagonist, for his friends. A and in the end, that's what made the scares land more. A and speaking of the scares, the jump scares in this game were very few and far between, but they were all perfectly teed up. Having us spend so long working on our homework only to turn around and be greeted with that just totally out of left field image that's immediately gone. It's really interesting in that clown segment how it gives you that impossible task with that even more impossible timer just to torment you with the thought that you are responsible for your sister's safety in that moment, which is such like a child anxiety to have. Having it be totally optional whether we stop to investigate the attic and get that glimpse into the life of this person that's agreed to do this to us. Uh, it is just so... It's a much smaller game than the others, although eh, maybe not. I mean, the record time now is just under two hours, so I certainly got my money's worth. But it just feels like everything is here that needs to be. Nothing more, nothing less, and I really appreciate it for that. All right, but I, I want to go back to the choice. Or actually, I'm going to go to the kidnapping first and see if I can score some sweet hoops. Yeah, yep. Oh, come on. No, I'll get it. Yep, it. Yep, it. Oh, this is difficult. Yep. We need to get it at the right angle. Oh, it's the mini game from the karaoke all over again. Wow, the net even has physics. There we go. No achievement, really. Now, I have had a look at the achievements, and they do tell me what the other endings would be. And basically they come down to where I would decide to go during the chase and what I do during this. Now, I don't believe there's anything for listening to Sister, but I do want to see what happens if we do. Hmm. 
It's been two weeks. I listened to my sister and decided to live in the kidnapper's house. I didn't want any trouble, so I stopped going to school. I can't really agree with my sister's plan, but I trust her. Renya, I'm uh, making curry and rice, so come help out. Uh, where was that kitchen? Over here, was it? Uh, what do I... Oh, I see. Cut, cut, cut. Yep. And place in pot. Thanks. Good job cutting the vegetables. Sounds like someone's here. Renya, can you answer it? Sure. Thank God. Doop doop doo doo. Just a kid living in a kidnapper's house. No biggie. Uh. Oh, look, it's the police. Uh, about time you guys showed up. Uh, come in. We were just making curry. This is the police. I spoke to the police about the whole situation. I didn't want anyone to get in trouble, but they didn't take my word seriously because I'm just a child. The mister ended up getting arrested as a kidnapper. And the police seemed to be contacting our mother. Hmm. Oh, so we did get an achievement for that police at the kidnapper's house. I apologize for the inconvenience caused. Oh no, it's nothing to worry about. I'm sure the two of them must have been terrified. Please care for them. I'm glad there were no injuries. Come on, you two. We're heading home. Sis, you seem kind of happy. <laughs> you might be right. Well, because mom came. You called the police, didn't you? Why do you guys keep being a nuisance? I've never been called by the police before. How embarrassing that was. Well, wait until you see the state of this house. I don't have time for this. Why do I have to go through something like this for some kids I don't care about? Don't ever trouble me like this again. And away she goes once more. Why? Oh, it's all considered a failure. Because we end up right back at square one. Oh, but we can go back to after escape. So will we get to ride again? Oh, that's convenient. That is actually so convenient for me. All right, so we'll do we'll do the more difficult thing first, which is to run home. Only this time we have to run all the way down the block, which uh, kind of felt like he was right on my heels. Man, he was really willing to run me down on my bike to protect me. Let's go, go, go. Although since his car ended up in a pretty bad state, maybe it was accidental. Oh, why would I ever give the benefit of the doubt? His house was an absolute bloodbath. How do you explain that? This way. Past my friend's house. Up the road. We weren't this one, we were the next one. Come on, go, 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 go. Or maybe, no, we're probably the last one, probably where the light is on. And straight here. Okay, we're back. 
We're back now, what? Should I maybe... Should I hide in the closet? Oh, well, let me open the closet now. Great, well, that limits my options. And he got me. Caught. Okay, well, let's uh, retry. Once again, we're stuck after the chase. So this time we're going to go to one of our friend's houses. I have to say, earlier Chilizark games weren't as good about this. I really appreciate it not only allowing me to choose my chapter, uh, which is especially useful for like achievement hunting and such, but also allowing me to choose what point in the climax I want to retry. That's extremely helpful, especially for the purposes of a video. Oh, we're actually going past the park. All right, let's try going to Kaiji's house. My friend's parents immediately called the police. Sis tried to explain everything to the police, but they brushed her off and just took the mister, who was arrested as a kidnapper. And then the police contacted our mother. And we're going to get much the same after that, right? Alright, if the achievements are anything to go by, that should be all the endings. Uh, the only two that I didn't get are for talking to all the classmates and for finding all the patron content. But yeah, this was absolutely an incredible experience. It was just, I mean, this is what I love about Chilizard. It, it's so unique. I mean, this isn't exactly a cookie cutter story, a tale as old as time, you know? I mean, it had legitimate twists and turns even within its short runtime. But it did one thing I forgot to mention that I really, really like. I had talked about how it played with that childhood perception of the world compared to the reality. But right at the end there, I mean, it may not have been a clown, but we did see something, something we'll never tell anyone about, something no one would ever believe us on, that had to be paranormal. And that was that thing that beckoned us into the attic to find that corpse. I love how it's entirely grounded, except for just that one little thing that we've just got to lock up tight in our brain and never speak of again. And that true ending is so creepy. Such a haunting final shot to end on. And the thing is, I don't think it even speaks badly of our character. To me, I think it just speaks more to, uh, well, a sense of pragmatism, let's put it that way. But if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.